so hello everyone i am uh, going to share i am going to share my experience building a bi tool from scratch which is called frappe insights uh, so let's start with who i am uh, i am sakib ansari a uh, product engineer at frappe uh, joined at close to 3 years back uh, joined as a erp next developer uh, erp next is a flagship product of frappe uh, it has 13k stars on github so in erp next i started with accounting and then eventually moved on to more ui related projects so i was so i found that i was enjoying javascript so uh, i started refactoring the one of the most heavy ui uh, projects in erp next so this is the pos ui before like this is v12 version 4 years back this was the ui then in the first uh, year i refactored it uh, to a new ui and then later on with the help of our designers it turned out to be like this then continuing on uh, gaining more and more responsibilities uh, i i wasn't able to do more uh, ui driven projects so i uh, so then so i wanted to switch to a new project and the responsibilities wasn't letting me but uh, uh, rishab came up with a lot of like he, he usually comes up a lot with a lot of ideas and that uh, triggered something and i picked up whatever uh, one of his ideas which was a bi tool and uh, even uh, so yeah so before so i am going to give you context like how i started and uh, what was my journey and then give you the demo so so uh, my idea was so there is a concept in frappe framework a doc type like it is just a form uh, in very simple terms with a lot of automations like you by default get four types of views tree view kanban view whenever you make a doc type which is a list of fields that's it and permissioning and everything else so so the problem was it was very easy to insert data in any kind of app app but you can't make sense out of it on your own right uh, there is a lot of data but so i wanted to solve this problem so so the idea was uh, if you want to make sense out of your data then the first thing not the first thing but the most common way is to write sql but uh, non devs can't so my idea was to make a query doc type like convert the sql uh, like there will be a doc type which builds sql that's it people will this uh, select fields and all so i took up a query sql query we were using pypica at that time uh, we currently also use but uh, this is the pythonic way of writing sql then noticed that they uh, these are the fields and these can be extracted into a uh, doc type basically uh, so i made so doc type has a controller python controller and then you uh, define the fields so these were the fields and uh, now if you notice all of these arrows point towards the doc type not the uh, actual field then the next was conditions uh, like the common the building blocks of a query was fields and then conditions so conditions i also ex uh, extracted uh, in which fields are used then simply to build a condition you define two fields or create new forms 
uh, of field and then create an expression. Now you can uh, write, you can substitute the um, doc types with uh, in the query. Now, yeah, these are the screenshots of actual form of the fields and expressions. And this is the doc type for query. Uh, people just select tables, columns, conditions, uh, operators, and etc. And then you get an SQL, basically generated. So next steps was charts. So basically, um, doc, uh, sorry, uh, query gave me an SQL which result, which gives an result, which is basically rows and columns and charts directly needed, only needs charts, uh, rows and columns. So charts was simpler. Then DB agnostic, uh, uh, next step was DB agnostic and then the UI. So this was, the doc type was the backend part. The real challenge was to make it even more simpler so that user don't have to know, uh, so user can just follow the pattern. But So I started with some iteration, like uh, distribu uh, fi found out the common things needed. So mostly my inspiration was Metabase, like how Metabase does. Uh, not a lot of them, not a lot of BI tools offer a query builder, which, is, which can be used by very uh, non-devs like. So, so this is the first iteration basically you have, you have, we had build, result, and visualize tab. In the build tab, you have three sections, the tables and columns, dimensions, et cetera, and then filters, which uh, got a lot of, we got through a lot of iterations. Uh, this was basically from internal usage, like in the improvement from people using in ERP, uh, Frappe. Uh, then fast forward to today, I will go through what we have. Uh, so this is the uh, home page, uh, the dashboard page, and you have basically you try you go on build dashboards here. So. Uh, the empty state basically and then you go on edit the dashboard and drag and drop whatever you would like to uh, add so let's build a line chart uh, so the so query is basically the data set uh, and i am going to so i'm now creating the query for this a uh, query to get the data behind the chart like what the chart will be using so let's say the so line chart makes sense in a uh, table which has uh, date column or basically the time series. So let's make order by month. And let's have it. Ah, TK. So here is the query builder. Um, ignore the tabs. Uh, so you get the table data uh, preview here and uh, this is tables uh, you go on get whatever you want uh, uh, in the final data mostly you should have uh, for a line chart you need a date column and a number column basically to plot it uh, on x and y axis so first i first uh, so be, uh, here mostly the uh, hmm, what do you say the uh, the words are familiar with an uh, with SQL, uh, the aggregation, etc. These I am planning to simplify even further. But uh, so basically, I am grouping by uh, purchase date and selecting the month format, and I will get the month column here, right? And I want to find month of month-wise count of orders, basically. So you get uh, month-wise count of orders. And there are also uh, uh, undelivered or invalid orders. So I will just pick the delivered ones. And 
go to visualize tab and you get the chart now that we have this so all of this can be done from the dashboard view, view itself uh, if you see uh, not this so it was this screen you can do all that here also but i wanted to show the full screen builder so now that i have built that query you can select that and select uh, okay let's do that okay month and count of records uh, Uh, there you have it like first uh, um, chart on your dashboard. Similarly, like once you have uh, quite a few of charts with filters and etc., you will get uh, these kind of dashboards. And if I were to show you how many we have created and how do they look, these this is the marketplace app uh, insights on. Uh, and these are the marketing stats we use internally. So the query builder is, uh, uh, we can go back to this. So query builder is quite capable. You can do, do joins and stuff. You can r even write native SQL queries. You can even the non-devs can use uh, small like uh, functions basically just like metabase has and to create very complex queries we have created like um, joins between uh, three four tables as well and even uh, uh, the cross database queries also works kind of but there is a plan to improve uh, uh, we can include also Python scripts and later like integrating with uh, an SQL AI is also a possibility. So learnings building a product from scratch was uh, challenging and a lot of fun like because this is what I enjoyed. I enjoy the most. Uh, so basically you have to be ready for uh, like maintaining a lot of things like if you are just contributing uh, to a project you don't have to uh, worry about like pricing marketing and then maintaining the community but if you are building your own product then all of these you have to worry about and uh, dev related things go back to like 50 percent of your uh, work and a lot of things come in and so why did i will built my own uh, first and foremost it was cool uh, the idea was cool and then we have always built our own tools in frappe uh, we have a value of going from first first principles falling and then learning and then improving and to make this second uh, right now it's second but the hash one open source bi tool crafted for for everyone that's it So, <laughs> how is it better than Metabase, right? It is better in uh, because right now in Metabase you can't do cross database joins, but in Insights you can do. So basically how it works is uh, from two data sources you will create two uh, data sets basically and then you store them into a local SQLite uh, uh, database and then run queries on that SQLite. So basically it works. Uh, we have tried it on our own instance. And there will be more Hey, this is Rishikesh from ID5. Yeah. Can you expand a little bit more on the cross database queries? What is supported? What is not supported? 
and what are the challenges that you've run into so far? So it is, so right now I have seen, uh, so the, my first implementation, the storing the results of the uh, different sources into a local database, that was my first uh, idea. Then that doesn't work if you have a very large database. Uh, so there is an idea like, uh, so ch challenges, uh, challenges are obvious, like you have so many databases and you have to uh, create so many queries for every uh, database to just to get one final uh, extraction, uh, extraction of this. So the way I plan to achieve is, key, well, so basically there will be a virtual data base which is just a small part of multiple databases and when you create the query on that database then it runs the same query on several whatever databases you have chosen and then uh, basically retrieves the result. Any, any thoughts on what would you use as the virtual database? Virtual database can also be a kind of database like so the data source uh, doc type in which uh, insights works is that is, uh, so this virtual database is just another data source. It will be same, but there will be a, a flag that says that this is virtual and it has a list of other, like it is not a real one and you have to fetch, you run queries on different, basically it is an implementation challenge. Understood, thank you. Uh, can, can we import Excel? Yes, yes, you can, I didn't. So basically, you can import and there will be a local SQLite database which stores all the SQLite, uh, sorry, Excel data. And then you can run, uh, select that data source to. Okay. So I have a question for all of you. How would you rate insights right now out of 10? Okay. Please use it then. Yeah. So, uh, how have you built the, the rule engine? Like, how was it designed? The, the yeah. The rule engine, right? Because you said it's going to be kind of low code for not Yeah. Anything, so. so, it relies completely on SQL right now. Uh, so, basically, under the hood, I have, I'm using SQL alchemy. So, whatever can be done. Uh, excuse me, can I ask a question? Sorry, yeah, I can't how can, find uh, you. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So can I uh, integrate the dashboard with the time series data, uh, uh, reflecting both sti uh, static and dynamic data as well? Yes, you can. Uh, whenever the data changes, the dashboard chart will be changed. Like It will be uh, refreshed. Uh, so more specifically on a chloroplath map, uh, I didn't get that, sorry. Uh, say, uh, with an example I would like to explain. Suppose uh, I relate geographical boundaries as a static data, which are not going to change over a period of time. And my dynamic data as uh, it can be air quality, which changes day by day, yeah. or uh, waste collection data, which uh, uh, changes every day from household to household. Yeah. So I want to have a time series data on a chloroplath map, say uh, certain regions are uh, on poor, having poor air qualities on certain day, on day one. And the next day it is having a good quality. Yeah, yeah. So from so red to green on changing the date, date slider. So uh, yeah, will so the dashboard be able to do that? you will have a date filter and then uh, you will change the date and you want to see at that particular day what was the quality index. Right. Not exactly filtering the date, but okay. I can. I should be able to move the slider to show it moving yeah, from I red to green zone. That is possible uh, because uh, if there are, there is a what do you say? The if you can, the real uh, challenge here is to building that chart. Like the data you can get in insights, yeah, but data. the chart, the, the geographical map plus the slider 
changing the uh, colors basically yeah. to show the intensity that mm. is a real challenge like for building the chart i think if other apps have that chart then it is possible i see okay thank you if it is a standard one then insights can also have okay okay thank you yeah.